The following is a fan made video. I don't own any pictures of sound clips used. <laughs> We should feast on the muffin! Should he taste good? <laughs> right. Hey Puke, come have a look at this. This guy... Actually stay away. Yikes. We can always smack Puke's head and use it as a bucket. <laughs> okay, well let's see what other people are saying. I hear something. He would shock you though, as he is a thunder muffin. <laughs> well played, well played, great. What a shocking discovery! Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, on with the video. Greetings, YouTube, the internet, and uh, everyone else, I don't know. So, a couple of Thursdays ago, uh, the anime known as King's Game ended after a 12 episode w uh, run. It has promised to come back, which is something that I'm not looking forward to. If you haven't guessed by the title or the thumbnail or whatever, I didn't like this whatsoever. I kept with it though. I watched all 12 episodes, I read uh, other reviews, I did all that stuff. I still didn't like it. Although, I think the only thing that I can agree I really liked is the intro, uh, Feed the Fire by Cauldrain. It's actually really good and you should check it out. But overall, this anime is... It's just... It's so... It's so bad. Just... Now that it's ended, I feel like I should probably go through it episode by episode and just sort of lay out what happened, what went wrong, what really went wrong. And just stuff that was batshit insane. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I could probably wait until next year when into another anime month. But nah, who could be bothered? <laughs> Meet Nabucky. He's your average brown haired protagonist. Good god I miss saying that. I miss anime month. Continue. And he's just joined a new school. And this is our first problem. Uh, whenever I say this, this is a, a second problem, a third problem, a fourth problem. I will, it'll probably be something that I'll come back to either in a later video or later on in this video. It just means that there's some sort of continuity error, something off with the plot, or it's just shoddy writing. Either of the three. Moving on. Everyone in his class attempts to make him feel welcome, uh, the most persistent being a girl called Natsuko. And here's our second problem. However, despite the efforts from his classmates to make him feel welcome and for him to make friends, he seems distant. He always sits at the back in that really cliché protagonist chair, uh, just sitting around moping. And I actually quite like this. I liked that there's some uh, sort of veil of mystery that we didn't really know what happened, but we know that something had gone on in his past that had affected him. And I really liked this idea. And then it's kind of ruined by the end of the series. Yeah. However, it's only after some sort of sports day or tournament or competition that he starts feeling at home. And he starts developing relationships with the class. So uh, he gets a couple of friends, he joins a couple of clubs, that thing. Uh, and then he also starts developing a relationship with Natsuko, which I quite liked. Natsuko was a really charismatic character up until halfway through episode two, but that's later. And I really liked them together. They seemed quite nice. But let's just sit back and watch their relationship crumble. And yeah. Jeez, this one sentence sums up this anime perfectly. However, that's when the texts start being sent. Somebody, we don't know who, just the king, is sending the class texts about what to do. And if they don't do it, apparently they will die. This is a bit like the children's game and the namesake of the show, King's Game. Which is when 
uh, one person is the supposed king and he orders people around. So that's like, um, servant number two, uh, go make a sandwich. Servant number three, um, dance to a funny song, that kind of stuff. However, in this one, it's all to do with murder and rape. Because of course it is. This is when the show gets way too edgy, way too quickly. So edgy, in fact, that you could probably cut yourself on, which many of the characters in this show actually do. And this is where episode one ends, with the King's Game starting, a couple of people exploding, yeah, and Nats uh, Natsuko and Nabaki realising that, oh, hell's gonna break loose. And it's not that bad as an episode. There was a, still that air of mystery that I quite liked before it was destroyed in the later ones over some bullshit reason. And I actually enjoyed it. And then there's episode two. Let's take a look. Shall we? So, you know in Attack on Titan, the second episode, it focuses on the Titans attacking uh, Shiganshina and killing everyone. And it also focuses on Eren's uh, traumatic uh, just discovery that his mum's just been killed. And you know in Death Note Episode 2, it focuses on Light becoming more like Kira, and finally going up against L. Yeah, in King's Game Episode 2, a guy's just freaking exploded, and Nobaki says to everyone that they need to stick together. And then somehow nobody takes them seriously, even though someone's just exploded right in front of them. I hate this show. And then after this, we're giving some backstory on what happened to Nobaki and how he knows about the King's Game. It turns out that something very similar happened at his old school. And as a result of this, he was the only one surviving, which makes you wonder why the police didn't suspect him of killing the rest of his class, like in Dead Man Wonderland. But I don't know, there's like no adults in this for some reason, even though kids are being killed. <sighs> Moving on. I also like it how Nobaki says that at first the orders were simple, and then immediately cuts to the first order being someone must sexually assault someone else. I mean, I know they probably have like different laws and stuff in Japan, but still, that, that's not simple, that's <sighs> stupid. And then because the person who was meant to touch the uh, other person's boobs didn't do it, they both die. And we actually see some, at least some reaction. And we see an adult, we see the teacher, so that's great. But then immediately afterwards, even though yesterday they got a text saying someone and someone must do this, otherwise they will die, they get another text and they, and then they still question, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. Even though they've just saw <laughs> that, they, that the other people died horribly. I mean, it makes no sense. Apparently the second order that the backies class got was that uh, two people must sleep together. However, the boyfriend of the girl isn't too happy about that and says that if he sleeps with her, he will kill him. And, you know, that's boy that's a pretty good boyfriend thing to do. You sleep with my girlfriend, I'm gonna do something. That makes sense. However, if you've just seen that two people have died horribly due to not following the text, why... Just makes no sense. But then it turns out that the two people did actually sleep together and the order was, uh, it was followed. And, you know, it was quite, uh, it was quite obvious that the boyfriend was going to be angry and everything. And then, coincidentally, the next, uh, the next order is the boyfriend has the power of the king. So he can do anything he wants. So what does he do? I know if he's in high school and he's a jock and he's obviously a bit of an idiot, He's probably going to uh, say to the school, you better uh, give me good grades, or says, say to another person, um, give me some money. No, no, this is a really edgy anime show, so what's he going to do? Well, he's going to tell someone to kill himself. And then, well, because he's been told to hang himself, he obviously doesn't want to die. So Nabaki and his friends say, okay, well, we'll help you, we'll go around to your house and we'll keep you company, just so you don't kill yourself. And it's good to see that the bully at least gets uh, some sort of uh, comeuppance as everyone then starts hating him. So Nabaki and his friend go around to his house and they start uh, sort of uh, playing with guitars and stuff and it's quite a good scene, it shows the bond that they all have and then the friend goes out the room and kills himself. And 
even after that, you have to think, wouldn't that mean that the boyfriend is a murderer? I mean, yeah, it was out of hatred and everything, and he didn't know what he was doing, but it still makes him a killer. And it's just, it's, it's so stupid. We then cut back to the present and with the new class, since the Nabaki's other class, they're sort of the old dead ones, and these ones aren't. Makes sense. And it shows that for some reason Natsuko's then changed. Now, later in the series, it does explain why, but for some reason, even though the King's Game has been going on for about a day now, you wonder why she hasn't immediately gone into this super serious, I'm going to win, I'm going to kill all the Titans mood. It makes no sense. Oh, I use it makes no sense a lot in this video. I'm sorry, it's, it's the first thing that goes into my mind when I think of this series. It, this entire series is just... It's stupid. I'm sorry that I'm saying it makes no sense a lot. It's just the first thing that pops into my mind. Where was I? Oh yeah. Natsuko goes crazy. I mean, for the first episode in a bit, she seems quite nice. Quite heartwarming, everything. But then, she suddenly has a... Just changes completely. And suddenly it's just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. Everyone else is gonna die. You're gonna stop me or you're gonna help me. You're gonna die, etc, etc, etc. And she remains like this for the rest of the series. She then takes Nobaki into the woods to have a conversation with him. Since he's the, uh, he also did the King's Game before. And then she comes out of the woods with her top off, screaming that he raped her. Mm. And then everyone believes her because she's not, she's got a top on? What? And then, well, they all start beating him up, and that's where the episode ends. And, like I said, they start beating him up because they think that he tried to rape her. Even though they've just seen that she's completely changed her personality and she started telling people to kill each other so that she can win. So why are they taking her seriously if she's just said all that? If she's just told them to kill themselves? <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm also going to be keeping this counter since it's going to come up a lot. Anyway, so that's the first two episodes of King's Game. I will probably make this a series. I'll be going up to episode 12 in small segments, doing uh, one to three episodes at a time, depending on what happens. Most of it is just like filler, but it honestly depends how it goes. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you don't, don't, I guess. If you're new to my channel, please, uh, le please, please leave a like. And definitely subscribe. If you want this, if you want this series, comment if you do, or if you don't, comment what else you want to see on my channel. I'm Thunder Muffin, I'm forgetting this name, and Soka.